Hey, 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 welcome back to Abusadu Radio. My name is RR Faxid Nyabuto. I think I should take off my glasses. Maybe you might see me better. Maybe even the hat, too. This guy, his name is Mwana Kendra. How you doing, man? I'm good. How are you doing, Alpha Faxid? I'm doing good. Thank you so much. A lot of people call me Alpha. Yeah. Um, they say it's... Whenever somebody uses the name Alpha, it's a masculine mm-hmm. type of thing. Yeah. Where does the name Mwana Kendra come from? Um, Mwana Kendra, actually, uh, Mwana Kendra is Mwana. Mwana means uh, I do music which is related to youthful people. So when we talk of Mwana, Mwana it's associated with the youth. So most of my music, lyrics, and um, the audio sound, it really touches the young people. So Moana comes from there. And then Kendra, my origin country is Kenya. So that is uh, a music of young people from Kenya. So the combination brings about Moana Kendra. And the rest, R-A, my father is a Rastafarian father. You know, so that, that's where I got the Ra. And then now we have Moana Kendra. So that is the formation of my name. So who is Moana Kendra? Moana Kendra is, um, is an artist. Um, I do I, I do music actually I do I've been doing music of the young people as I say but of late I've tried to brand in the Afrofusion to make sure that I at least capture the attention of um, greater people. Mona Kendra is Albert Oino, those are my official names and basically I was born in South Mogirango, mm-hmm. uh, raised in South Mogirango, went to school. And for a little bit, I stayed in Tanzania, and that's where my Swahili went very fluent. Something very unique that many people don't have. Your Absolutely. Swahili is very profound. Absolutely. Yeah. Yesterday, you had a show here in Dallas, Texas. Yep. The show went great. We had a great turnout. Mm-hmm. You've had a show in Minnesota, yep. Minneapolis, yeah. uh, Bloomington. Mm-hmm. You've had shows everywhere yep. for the most part. So tell me about this interstate tour that you're having. Yeah, um, actually this tour uh, is very interesting in the sense that we plan this tour is only five days notice. Mm -hmm. So we realized that uh, after doing, uh, I did my first album uh, last year. Uh, Later on, I did a white party uh, together with Mr. Pepperman and my team. So we did a white party at a place called Oralonge and we tried to make sure that uh, the people of Minnesota come up. They came up in large numbers. This year I did my second album. Mm-hmm. My first album name was Diaspora Focus. My second album name was Baby Girl. So after launching my second album, we realized that uh, we can bring other artists, you know, we can host them. Mm-hmm. So we did a very big show that we hosted uh, Mr. Ngengo. Uh, who is uh, our local international legend in the music industry from mm-hmm. Kenya, and then uh, MC Migi. So we hosted them, we collaborated together, and uh, I was there as the co-artist. So we did a very big show that had over 500 people in in a night. So you guys are pulling numbers. Yeah, we pulled numbers. So we said now it's high time that we start interstate tour. So we cannot do any other event in Minnesota. We say now this is enough. To, to, to take the word out. So we say Texas, Dallas is our first destination to kick off the interstate tour. So what other places are you planning on going to? Actually, we are planning to move to every state that is in the United States. There's 50 states in the United All States. All of them. So Texas being the first one, uh, we realize that this is a, a home of uh, Kenyan people. We say that we have to start here. And... Uh, we did not plan this for long. It was a five-day plan. Five days. A week? Yes, actually less than a week. So even people did not get the notes very well, and there were events planned, but the audience that we had yesterday, it was overwhelming. Uh, Abagusi Global Media was there to witness this, and it covered us live. And I really appreciate you guys for coming through. Absolutely. Us. Now I want to get on the topic of your co-artist, the DJs that come with you, along your team yeah. that you work with mm-hmm. um on the event we had yesterday yes. we had your co-artist mm-hmm. mr paperman yeah and then we also had dj 
Hebraston. His yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, His sure. name is very, very complicated, but he's one of the, he was the main DJ last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, sure. We had DJ Rick. Yes. And then we had MC Jerome. Yeah. So this team that you bring along with you, mm -hmm. how does it come about? Uh, you know, uh, in this world, um, Alpha, you cannot work at all. You know, if you want to go far, you need to work as a team. Mm -hmm. So Monakendo was an artist, mine is to hold the microphone and make people happy. Mm -hmm. But behind the scenes, I, I need to have a professional DJ who gives me, you know, who, who gives the mixes mm -hmm. so that it sounds very good. And as well, you cannot be able to introduce yourself to the audience. You need to have someone who is very powerful with the greatest vocal to introduce you. Yes. That's where the MC, MC comes in and that's... The MC introduction Europe. yesterday was very well. <laughs> Yeah, it was very, very great, actually. Very well introduction. And a lot of people might not know you here in DFW, yeah. but they received you in a well manner. Do you, would you say that's based off of his introduction or based off of you as a person? Um, what I can say is, uh, uh, one thing I realized is uh, my name is not very new here in this place mm -hmm. because I did my first song, uh, in my first album, there was a song called Obogima mm Machingumbo. -hmm. This is a song that touches about life in diaspora, mm -hmm. what people go through, uh, you know, behind the scenes of people in African countries, they think that life is very easy here in the US. There's money in America. There is money, but the way you get it is not very easy the way they think, you know what I mean? Absolutely. So uh, I came up with that song and this song, I realized that when I came, when I was in the building, even when I was performing, everybody was like, we need Obogima Machemon, so there was demand for them. I go chechera, obo egi ovio ovio, naro obo ego neche. When it's my day, you will be caught in the rain. I have got to go and change, go so try to dig it. Rindo genda ya kane, Kenya yeto nengiya, Tanzania nengiya, Africa nengiya. And as much as I had people who, who, who saw me for the first time, I had my true fans who really uh, knew me before and then they, they follow me on social media handles and they were really waiting for that music. We are working on how to increase the numbers. The numbers will definitely increase. Yeah. Now let's go back on this topic about you as yeah. a person. Mm -hmm. Before becoming or getting into the music industry, you were in government. Yeah. You've been an MCA. Yeah, sure. You've done more things mm -hmm. apart from music. Yeah. Now I understand that you told me before this interview that you do music as a way of helping the young generation. Yeah, sure. You've also been in the government to help the young generation. Yeah. So where does this passion come from? Yeah, um, actually, uh, you know, when, when you grow up, you know, when I grew up, I didn't think, I, I never thought of me becoming uh, a member of uh, parliament or member of the county assembly. I didn't think of becoming a musician. So these things, they just came after I finished school. So I realized that I can be able to sing. Mm -hmm. You know, this my, my talent is unique. Most people are born with the talent. But with me, after finishing from four, I went to Tanzania. That's when I realized that I can be able to sing during the post-election violence that emerged in Kenya 2007. So that time I used to stay in the house, listen to the radio. So that's when I, Bongo Flavor music was top. So that's when I realized that I can be able to sing. Okay. So through music, I did my first song called Lomo and Chisilivia in my mother language, mm -hmm. Kegusi. So that song was being played in media so much. And I was famous since then. So that, so that was your breakthrough. Yeah, th that fame from the media actually made me, uh, you know, become an MCA of Chitago Borabu, South Mogirango. Okay. So I was elected at the age of 23. So you one of the youngest? I was actually the youngest uh, in Kenya by then. So that was 2013, 2017. I served the whole time in the office. We were the first people to open the county assembly of Kisi under the leadership of uh, His Excellency James Ongwai. So we did that, and then later on, uh, I went for the re-election, but things did not, 
you know go go well because people did not re people didn't know that MCA position was very powerful as such. They thought it was councillorship, so that's why it was very easy for me to get in for the first time. But okay. a second time, people came and we were 33 aspirants running for the same position. Wow. And the fight was too high. I could not be able to make it because of uh, financial muscle. People came with financial muscle. And what I can tell you for free is politics in Kenya, it really depends on how much you have in a bank. Right now, you're at a good level. Yes. You're one person that's, you're well known. Mm -hmm. You have a great team around you. Audio is good, video is good. Everything is aligning up pretty well. Yep. What do you see yourself in the future? Um, in the future, actually, you know, when I was in Kenya, I used to dream of coming to the United States and sing, either do a performance. And I, I had a dream of even shooting a video with a white person. You know, that was my dream. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm seeing my dream come, 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 come true. And uh, that's why if you realize, if you listen to my album, I do uh, Goosey local music, I do Swahili, and I do English. Mm -hmm. Because I know there is a time that I'll be performing in an audience where there are people who don't, listen, who don't understand our mother language, mm -hmm. who don't understand Swahili. And uh, you know, this is the global. That's why we are talking of Abagusi Global Radio. We're talking of the whole group. You know what I mean? Yes. So, uh, me, myself in the future, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing myself at the topest, the, the topmost point, and I'm counting all the artists in the whole world below me, because I see, I see me uh, as someone who is gonna be very powerful in music. Now, would you say that that's some pride that you have in yourself? It's not. It's it's the determination, and uh, you know, and the focus in me. You know, Alpha, the way you are interviewing me today. Mm -hmm. I know if someone gave you a chance to say who is the best interviewer in the world, you will say it's yourself. Of course. Because you believe in yourself. Absolutely. So when I say that, I don't mean that I'm, 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 I'm trying to brag or do stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, 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 I trust myself. And I know if you listen to my lyrics, they're well planned, they are well sung, and the music is very enjoyable. So I don't make noise. I make music. And my target is, I want to become the best artist in the world, in the globe. And you'd be able to do that? I'm doing it. Yes. You say you're doing it. I'm doing it. I That's like what why I'm, I'm here. This is an interstate tour. I'm touring to places of people with the different cultures. So I'm here in uh, Texas, Dallas here, Arlington. I'm here to interact with the people of different cultures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if I do Swahili, I'm targeting a culture that understands Swahili. When I do English, I'm targeting a culture that understands English. And then when I do uh, uh, KKC, I'm targeting the culture that understands KKC. Absolutely. Now, you're in the United States of America. Yes. You're doing a tour in America. Yeah. And that's one of your goals that you said that you've been having for a long time yeah. to perform in America. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the challenges and some of the advantages, the pros, the cons that you have being in the United States? Um, if I can talk of the challenges, the challenges, number one, is um, our people in the United States they really have very limited time to go to YouTube and watch your content. Mm -hmm. So that's when, that's when you can realize that you can, when you have an event, people can come, so many of them, but they cannot even subscribe to a YouTube channel or, or give you views on, um, on your social media platforms. Mm -hmm. So, but people can love you, but they don't f really follow you on social media handles. Uh, and I don't, I, I, I don't blame them it's because here in America, people are very busy. Mm -hmm. Someone is, you know, you, you cannot even start a song and finish it unless you hear someone is performing. So you can come, witness a live performance, but you can't go in your room and relax, watch the content on social media for a long time mm -hmm. because you'll be thinking of going to work. So that's challenge number one. Mm -hmm. Challenge number two is the production. 
Mm -hmm. The production here, we know, you, you know, it's not as, as easy as such. Mm -hmm. Because here, for instance, you're going to a studio and you're meeting someone of a different culture. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're talking to someone who's, who is a master in uh, English, mastering, and I'm presenting my culture song, which is Ekegusi song. Mm -hmm. More especially Yes. So I'm asking him to give me a bit that goes with this sense. So this guy who is a white person and was born in England or here in the United States, he doesn't even understand how that culture goes. Absolutely. You know, that is a complete challenge. So I have to go to my country, uh, make a bit from there, which brands would whatever I sing. So I love that beat, go to studio here. You know, I have to book several sessions. I book a studio in Kenya to get a beat. I pay for that. I go book a studio here in the United States. I mm -hmm. go record vocals. Because this guy cannot be able to master the vocals very well because he also doesn't understand how we can master those. Uh, we, don't, we, do, we don't need too much reverberation in our local music. We mm -hmm. need it natural. So if if that guy is born here, it will put too much reverberation, too much auto tune to sound so good. But at the end of the day, our people in the culture they need something, you know, organic, natural. natural. Mm -hmm. So I have again to take the the vocals back to Africa for mastering. So when that song comes back, I've already spent a lot of U.S. dollars. So the video is the same thing, you know. So you have to put too much money to make sure that one song comes out. That is really, really challenging for us as artists. Okay, but do you have advantages here in the U.S.? Um, yeah, I can say there are advantages because the advantages of uh, um, the disadvantages is um, in as much as they ask a lot of money to do that, I'm able to go to work you know, on a daily basis or maybe, you know, those days that I'm scheduled to work besides my music and make that money. So um, I'm able to fund myself with uh, the respect that I have uh, with other people who support me. Mr. Paperman is my co-artist and he manages my productions and he manages my tour, he manages my event organization. Mm -hmm. So that's why we uh, actually work hand in hand. So sometimes if I'm, I'm, I'm unable to do something, Mr. Pepperman chips in to make sure that everything goes very correct. Absolutely. So that is the advantage of being in the United States compared to the disadvantages. I like that. Yeah. Your interstate tour. Tell my people one more time <laughs> what your aim is, where we're going, and how we're attacking it. What I can tell you is our tour is, it, you know, a, a journey of a thousand miles begins from one. So you have to have a baby step before you, you grow. So I know and I believe that having the most powerful show in Minnesota and the second tour and the first tour which was in Arlington, Texas, Havana Hall that uh, took place yesterday night, actually what I can tell you is what I saw that made me know that I have a dream uh, that has been achieved. So this is not a dream, it's, a, it's an achieved dream for us to have a show uh, interstate. So our next tour, we are going to a different state. We will be able to announce, we'll talk to the Abagusi Global Radio about it, and then you guys will be able to come and support us in uh, telling our people to make sure that everything is well organized. So I see myself uh, being very popular because uh, the perf after after performance, people came to me and told me so many of them actually, uh, including uh, the local people who sell food in their restaurants and stuff. I cannot be able to mention the names. They just said, "Hey man, you did a show like like you are performing to the whole world." I told them that's how we do. It doesn't matter the audience. If even if you call us to the show and Alpha, you're the only one in the building, we can perform like we are performing to a million people. So we don't say that the audience is limited, so we limit our performance. We do we give it the best. Absolutely. So, so we give it the best. If you go to Abagusi Global Radio on social media, Facebook Live, uh, they, they did a coverage. Everything is captured, and I know this interview 
it's a world interview. It's going to go viral everywhere. So this is a home to be alpha. This interstate tour is one thing that's going to be big here in DFW. We've had many big artists come about, but these are some of the ones that are speaking to the young generation. I want to thank you guys for watching us today. My name's R. R. Faxid Nyabuto. This is Abogusi Global Radio. I hope you enjoy the show. Tell me what you think about this man right here. Go on YouTube, subscribe to his content, watch his music. Let us know what you think about his content here in the United States. Focus on some of our DJs, DJ Hez Braston, DJ Rick, MC Jerol, the man himself. Thank you guys for watching. Have a DJ Nimon, DJ Hez Braston of the mix. We're gonna pull it up all the way from the top. This is how we do. Boom! One nonsense in the building. You wanna can draw tenor. Na kusora, na 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 